Excel, Module 4, Textbook Project, Part 2. With the column chart appearing, we're going to click the quarter 4, which is the gray. When you select one of them, it selects all of the quarter 4, so all of those bars are selected for each of the cities. And we're going to change the color. So you can do it from Chart Tools Format and it's shape fill and the one they're looking for is plum accent one ninety percent one um, plum accent one lighter ninety percent then we'll select quarter three and it selects all of the quarter threes for each city instead of shape fill we're gonna go to shape styles and choose the more option and we're looking for subtle effect pink accent three so you can change the bars for each of the cities at one time then we'll click the insert tab so I'm just gonna select away from the bars that were individually selected insert choose text select header and footer choose custom footer so it appears at the bottom and then in the middle section type your name and then click OK and OK. Then we'll go to the, the uh, worksheet called US where our data is and when we did our first clustered column we selected a range that included all of the city locations and each of the quarters. So we're going to create a pie chart and pie charts are usually centered around one figure and that's going to be the total. So we actually want to select the city locations and each individual total. So the first thing you'll do is select A5 to A12 and let go. Then hold the control and select F5 to F12. So you're getting each individual city and their total. Each individual city and their total. From the insert tab select Pi and it's usually pie or donut shape and we're going to choose 2D Pi and then with the pie chart selected uh, with chart design ribbon choose move chart new sheet and this one's just going to be called Pi and then OK so it's on its own sheet and then right now we have a very uh, nice colorful pie and we're going to click the chart title but before we start typing in it we're going to choose chart format and we'll go into word art more options and we're looking for fill pink accent color three sharp bevel and then what we'll type is jcl talent total total expenses comma by office. Make sure there's no typos. JCL total expenses comma space by office. And then you can click your check mark. Then down at the bottom you want to select the Houston pie slice. And if you can't tell which color Houston is, if you hover over each slice it'll tell you which city location it is. So if you click left click the Houston slice it actually is selecting the entire pie you can tell by this circle blue circle on the, around each one if you click the Houston one again then it's just that one that's selected right click and choose format data point and over on the left hand side you have a window pane and what we'd like to do is change the explosion from 0 to 10 and you can see it moving away from the rest of the pie so the point explosion should be 10 and then we'll close out of here and then I'm just going to click the whole pie so it's um, not just the Houston slice so I'll just I'll select away so that not, not, none of the um, slices are selected and then we'll go into chart elements and we'll choose the data label arrow and then we'll select outside end and you'll notice the values are on the outside end of each of the pie slices. Then we'll go into more options and in the 
uh, label options, we will select the percentage and then we'll take off the value so that you just have the percentage and not the value. Then we'll go back to, you can close out of here, but you can go back to chart elements and this time we're going to try for data labels. We'll try data call out. We'll go back to the US data worksheet and then we'll select G5 and on the we'll select insert tab and then in the sparkline group choose column. So what we're doing is we're creating a mini line graph that will be on this actual worksheet separate from the clustered column. It'll actually be appear on this worksheet. So select column and it's going to ask for a range and the range if you want to move it out of the way is going to be B5 through E5 so it's the four quarters so hold and drag across so it should be data range B5 through E5 so it's each of the quarters for New York and then click OK so you have a bar graph of when it was at its high, when it was at its low, and so forth. And then we'll use the uh, fill handle and drag it all the way down to G12 so you see all the cities um, and their ups and downs. And then we'll select just G5 and then we'll try the line button in the type group to see the difference in the line versus the column. Then if you go into um, Sparkline Color, we'll choose Plum Accent 1 Lighter 10%. And then we'll go into the More for style options and we'll select plum style accent 3 and darker 50 percent so plum sparkline accent 3 darker 50 percent and then we're going to go to marker color and we're going to select the high point so that we have a particular color on the high point and the color we're looking for is plum accent 2 darker 50 percent plum accent 2 darker 50 percent for the high point so that's the high point and then we'll go back to marker color and this time So we just did the high point. We'll go back to marker color. We just did the high point with the um, plum accent to darker 50%. Now we're going to go to markers and select blue gray accent 6. And then over on the left hand side, make sure that the uh, markers has a checkbox in the show group and then we'll click in C5 and we're going to change the amount it'll be 6742.13 and as you press um, check mark or enter it'll adjust your spark line and again insert text header and footer and we'll select go to footer in the center section your name and then click any cell above it to get out of the header and then um, to go get back to right now we're in what's called quarters so to go back to the to normal view down at the bottom on the status bar select normal or you can go to view and right now we're in page layout and choose normal control home will take you to the top of the screen
The next is working with data trends. So down at the bottom where you have your sheet tab names, right click on the column sheet tab and then choose move or copy. Choose move to end and make sure you select create a copy and then click OK. And it's going to be named column, same thing, but two in parentheses. So if you right click on the column parentheses two, select rename and type trends. And then you can click the chart to actually um, select it. And then we'll go up to chart tools design and then we'll select switch row column so it's by the quarters we'll select the chart element button and we're going to remove the data table so just uncheck the data table so that it's no longer there and then we're going to move the legend if you go to legend and you see the right arrow we're going to choose it to um, move it to bottom and you can see it if you scroll down, but it's on the bottom. Click the chart elements and select tread line and make sure New, New York is selected and click OK. And then with the tread line and the arrow, make sure it's linear and it should be so there you go okay and then you'll choose the tread line again more options and this time you're gonna select Houston and okay and you should have two so for New York and for Houston and it's indicated down below in your Make sure you only have one for New York a linear line and one for Houston and then you'll select the New York linear line and from your format trend line window pane we'll select the trend line options in the forward box you want to change it from 0, 0.0 to 1 and then press enter and then for the fill and line for the width box change the 1.5 to 2.5 and then we can close the format tread line And then for the Houston, we'll double click the Houston. And again, for the Houston, the forward box should be one. And then in the fill bucket for the width, it'll also be 2.5. And close the tread line pane. And that's a save and upload. Thank you.